It's just insects. It's just insects. It's just insects. It's just insects. Guys, guys, guys. I've been putting this one off. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's currently Monday, 6 p.m. I've only just got back from work and I'm about to make a burrito with insects. I just wanted to come home, just have a pork chop dinner, nice bolognese, some pasta, maybe a salad, I don't know. But no, I'm going to eat some insects. Why, you might ask. Well, in all seriousness, uh, a company called Bug sent me one of their recipe kits. Um, so I'm gonna review it today to see what it's like. Uh, essentially, it's like any other kind of recipe kit that you get out there, but it's made using insects. Now, the whole mantra of these guys is actually to get people to eat more insects. Now, they've got a challenge on the hand and hats off to them for trying to pull this off because trying to get into the psyche of the human being and make them eat insects is no small task. I'm gonna give it a try nonetheless. And I kind of think about it and I'm sort of like, it's kind of down to our mindset, isn't it? Because insects are full of protein, they're sustainable, really, really good for you. So why don't we eat them? Well, they're not the most attractive of things. So I think that's probably part of the problem. But today I'm gonna to make the burrito. The recipe kits come in various sort of guises and stick around at the end as well because I've got something special for you at the end. Uh, but we're gonna give this a try and make a bug burrito. So get your face down here and let's get started. Right, let's have a look inside this little puppy. Nice design, I like the logo, I like the packaging, very nice indeed, very swish. Let's pull the sleeve off. The box did kind of get a little bit damaged in the post, but that's not their fault. Be careful, my packages are all male. Let's have a look inside. Okay, so we've got our recipe cards here. Now this kit comes with two recipes, the burrito which we're gonna make with mealworms, and it also comes with a cricket kale pesto rigatoni as well, but I'll probably do that another day. But for the demonstration of this video, we're gonna do the burrito. Nice little kind of leaflet here to sort of tell you all about what they're doing. Again, nice branding, nice marketing. It's very, very cool. Oh, look at those crickets, hey? Don't they look tasty? They do actually, shall I try one? That's a real cricket. Hmm, kind of savory taste. Not unpleasant at all. Uh, we're gonna use these, the mealworms. Nice and crispy. So we'll put those in our recipe. Then we've got the spices, different packets of sauces, and all that jazz. So, that's the recipe kit. So what do we need for our burrito? Mealworms, check. Cumin and paprika, check. Chipotle mash, check. Mexican spices, check. Right, so that's what we need for the burrito. I'm gonna pack this all away in its box because that's for the other recipe. I'll measure out all the ingredients and we'll get started. Right, so let's get the show on the road. Got our beans here, tomatoes, all the dried ingredients. The first thing I'm gonna do is get this onion and garlic diced up. Right, so I've got the onions and garlic chopped up, so now we can get on and start cooking this up. Okay, so now that it's chopped up, what does it say to do? So, for the chilli, dice the onion and garlic, heat a tablespoon of olive oil in a saucepan on a medium heat, and fry the onion and garlic until cooked. Okay, so let's get that on the heat. Let's add some olive oil. Now here's the first thing that I would change. Um, it says to add the onion and the garlic. I would be inclined to add the onion first, sweat that down a bit, then add the garlic because you can kind of run the risk of the garlic burning, but we'll do what they say to the letter. Um, it did say to use red onion, but I haven't got one, so it's gonna have to be white. And it says to cook the onions and garlic until it's cooked. I imagine that means until the onion is softened and the rawness of the garlic has come out, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna give that probably five, 10 minutes just to get it going. Okay, so the onions and garlic have been softening for about five, 10 minutes, so it's now time to move on to the next step, which is add the chopped tomatoes, tin beans, tomato puree, chipotle mash, and the cumin and paprika spice mix. Cover with a lid and leave to simmer for 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. Now I haven't got any pinto beans, so I'm using black eyed peas instead. So I'm just gonna add everything in. Seems like quite a lot of beans, and I also drained off the liquid. It didn't say to do that, but 
I'm just making an assumption there. That is a lot of beans. In with the black eyed peas. I got a feeling. Woo -hoo. I haven't got chopped tomatoes, so I'm gonna use plum tomatoes and just kind of mash them up a bit. So in they go. There's not a lot of liquid in here, guys. Hmm, we'll see. Tomato puree, in it goes, a tablespoon. Again, this is a step that I would change and I would actually add the tomato puree to the onions as they were cooking, just to kind of take out that tinny bitterness that you can get if you don't cook tomato puree properly. So that's about a tablespoon. Next, the chipotle mash, in it goes. The cumin and paprika spice mix, get that in as well. Give that a good old stir. I'm just gonna break down those tomatoes. Oh, okay, might be all right. It's kind of got a bit of a liquid in there. I'm not going to season this just yet. I'll add the salt at the end because if you add it now, it can kind of make those beans a bit too firm. So I'm going to get a lid onto this, let it trickle away for about 15 minutes, and then we can roast the mealworms and make this burrito. Yes. Right, okay, so the chili has been cooking away for just over 15 minutes. It did say on the instructions to remove the lid and reduce it uh, to your desired consistency, but I think that is absolutely fine for me. That is nice and thick. So let's season it up. Good old pinch of salt and a good old twist of black pepper. Let's give that a bit of a stir. So what I'm gonna do now is just leave it on the back burner just to trickle away. Uh, whilst we get on and roast the mealworms. I never thought I'd say that, ever. But here we are, it's 2020, anything is possible. Right, the next step in our insect escapades, it says to roast the mealworms. I've preheated the oven, get that nice and hot. In a mixing bowl, add the mealworms and olive oil, stir to coat the worms. Add to that the Mexican spice rub and gently mix to coat in the seasoning. Spread evenly on a baking tray and roast in the oven for five minutes. Righty ho. Let's get these into our mixing bowl. What I really like as well is the environmentally friendly packaging. That's a really nice touch actually, because you know, we've got to look after this planet. So these are the mealworms. Crispy, you can hear that. Definitely crispy. Let's try one on its own. Like that, mealworm. Yeah, all right. They don't really taste of much on their own, but once I add this drop of olive oil and those spices, it's going to really kind of wake them up. So let's coat those mealworms with that oil. I about had a heart attack early because they were kind of moving around in the packaging. You can see, look, as I move them around, look, they kind of look like they're wriggling. They're not, it's just kind of how they are. I can assure you they are very, very dead. So let's add the spice mix. In it goes and kind of mix that up to coat those mealworms thoroughly. So I'm going to get those onto a baking sheet, whack them in the oven, toast them for five minutes, and then we can build this burrito. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it now. Right, <laughs> here we go. I've toasted off the mealworms, the chili's ready. I've got my uh, little extras and toppings here, so let's make this burrito. Right, so it says to assemble, add a heaped spoon of the bean chili to the center of the tortilla, top with a large spoon of roasted mealworms, and add your style with the optional toppings. We went all out, they said. Uh, I've just got some simple stuff here. I've also warmed up the tortilla just to kind of make it a bit easier to fold, but this is gonna go wrong because we know that my burrito rolling skills are atrocious. But we shall give it a go nonetheless. Let's get our chili. Now, my lesson from last time is not to overfill it, so I think that'll do for now. Then our lovely toasted mealworms. On we go. Some cheese. I'm gonna go along the side. I'm go for a little bit of greenage, just on this side. A Couple of pickled jalapenos, just for that little bit of piquancy and kick. And then just a few dabs of sour cream. So now all that's left to do is to kind of roll this up. Okay, over we go. Oh, come on, please. No, I've got to tuck the ends in, haven't I? I've got to do that. I've got to do that. Go, just go for it. Just go for it, Adam. Roll it, roll it, roll it. It's a sort of burrito. That's not bad. It's all right. So the only thing left to do now is to cut this in half and have a look inside. Let's go. There we are. 
the mealworm burrito. Got cheese in there, got everything else. In fact, you wouldn't know that there was mealworms in it if I hadn't told you. So I guess the only thing left to do now is to get it in my face and see what it tastes like. Right, let's taste the bug burrito. Here we go, just try and get you in a bit closer so you can see. Can't really tell there's mealworms in it really, can you? Let's give it a taste. Hmm. There is nothing offensive about that whatsoever. You can tell there's something in there that's kind of different, but if no one had told me there was mealworms in it, there's no way I could tell. The mealworms are nice and crispy. There's a bit of spice to that chili. Then you've got the sour cream, the pickled jalapenos, the cheese, all kind of brings it together. Um, so what do I think? I think this recipe could do with a bit of work, just some things that I would do differently, such as I would not cook the garlic with the onions. I'd cook the onions first, soften them, then add the garlic. I'd also add the tomato paste in with the onions just to cook out that raw bitter taste from the tomato puree. A bit of dark chocolate would be good in there as well. But those are all just kind of personal preferences really. So you can always add those bits in if you want. But as far as the insects themselves, nothing offensive about them whatsoever. Tasty little snacks. Um, you know, you can eat the mealworms on their own, just as they are. Look, proof, they're on my hand. The mealworms on their own, they've got a very sort of toasty flavour. Slightly nutty, but supremely savoury. Now, here's where the difficulty lies, is trying to convince people to eat them. I think that's the biggest obstacle these guys have got, is trying to change people's mindset to give them a go. Because we're just not used to it. We are just not used to eating insects in this country. Which, when you think about it, we eat prawns, um, and prawns are kind of a bit like an insect of the sea. They're not, they're a crustacean, but, you know, they've got funny tentacles, they've got weird legs, a shell on them. You know, they're not the prettiest things to look at, but we still eat them. And rightly so, because they're delicious. So I think it's about kind of turning people's mindset, getting people to try it, and try and convince people that they're tasty. And I think that's just the hardest part of all of this. But honestly, guys, give them a whirl. Get yourself on the website, get yourself a recipe kit. Now, here's where I'm gonna help you out. The guys at Bug have kindly given me my own discount code, so when you get to the checkout, if you apply the coupon code Adam Garrett, all one word, all caps, you'll get 15% off your order. It's only valid until the 16th of June, so get in there fast. But also read about the company. The guys there seem like a cool bunch of dudes. They talk about sustainability, the environment, and I think it's a really cool little product. Yes, they've got a challenge on their hand trying to get people to eat these, but I really wish them the best of luck. But anyway, guys, that's the video done. Cool little bug burrito there. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, make sure you hit the bell icon, allow all notifications. That way, when I upload a new video, you get notified. So I'm gonna end this video here. Remember to stay safe, stay calm, look out for each other, and I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video, and bye for now.